Um, so it's an orc and a mech warrior suit. Let's do it. Rating pending. Let's be honest, it'll be mature. So. Greetings, adventurer, and welcome to Core Pump. Wait, is this laggy? Greetings, adventurer, Wait, is, and is welcome to... Wait, is... Is the trailer lagging or... Oh, it's 4K. Okay, just a minute. Let me just do 1080p. Greetings, adventurer. Okay, and we're good. welcome to Core Punk, an MMORPG where you'll experience fog of war in a vast, seamless open world. Incredible. Miles and miles of wilderness to get lost in. Discover a small camp in the middle of nowhere. Or a busy metropolis booming with life. This reminds me of like Ratchet and Clank or you something. You are free to go wherever you want. Use public transport to reach remote locations fast and safe. Begin your journey by creating. Oh, Reinhardt, that's crazy. It has its own unique role, abilities, okay, that's and good. A set of fighting styles. Uh, Titus. Complete That's quests good too. for NPCs who are too busy to do it themselves. You're gonna need a better gear for that. Kill monsters Let's see the combat. to gold. Shred them with your best move. Uh, be careful though. They get pretty crafty when fighting as a unit. <laughs> Grow crops. Chop wood. Mine ore. Trade goods for missing resources to craft the weapon you deserve. Suit up! It won't make you stronger, but you'll look absolutely fabulous. Choose Wait, what do you mean it won't make you stronger? Oh, oh, these are, oh, it, uh, these are skins. They're selling skins. Uh, what, what, how do you have fucking skins in the trailer, man? I mean, you can't have skins in the trailer. You announced that, like, after the game's out and people are already hooked. I mean, you can't, like, uh, you, how do you have microtransactions in the announcement trailer? I'm sorry, but this is too much. Wow. Choose a set of talents. Yeah. Boost yourself with artifacts to become the ultimate war machine. Yeah. Use fog of war wisely to hunt down and ambush your enemies. Attack so you can kill other players to take your farming spot. Then chill in a city, show off your loot and find reckless companions to take on a challenge that no one else has the guts for. Uh, pretty big boss. Okay. But the music's a bit much. I think it's a, a little cringy. The boss died in like two minutes. Like, what was that? Like, one minute? Like, what do you mean? Beta at okay, let's see what the hell this is, okay? Uh, I'll, I'll watch the re reaction video in a second. Uh, what is this? Uh, corepunk.com. Okay, what is this here? So it's got this weird little loading thing. Sign up. FAQ. View the trailer. Corepunk is an RPG with Fog of War and a seamless open world. Why is Fog of War a feature? Like, I mean, that's cool, but I don't know if it's something that I'd be that excited about. You know what I mean? Imagine standing still and autoing the boss. I don't have to imagine. I've seen s Fawn's stream. Uh, let's see. Thanks to the top-down camera on Fog of War, you'll be able to discover every nook and cranny. Corepunk offers a variety of professions, battlegrounds, and challenging monsters in unique camps, farms, and quest areas in profound lore. You guys like that? Um, okay, let's see. What is this? All right, so we've got a few pictures here. 
uh, give us your email. Please note that signing up will not guarantee you access to the closed beta. Okay, what's the FAQ? Game release date. Okay, so nobody, they don't know. Uh, what are the rules on the forum? Um, you can view the official forum rules. Let's see what the forum rules are. Are these some SJW rules? Uh, let's find out. Forum topics. Um, do not be toxic. Moderators are not unaware of your messages. If you want all your users feel comfortable while chatting, stick to the topic. Okay, spam and trolling, disparaging, rude and insulting behavior towards forum users, moderation and messages, and human dignity in general, social groups and others, threats in real life. Jesus Christ, posting porn. So there's no porn allowed in this game. Well, that rules it out for me. Uh, I, I, I don't want to do this either, okay? Uh, yeah, this is uh, th this is great. Our human dignity. Define toxic. We don't need to. Uh, distribution of real life information. Yeah, obviously. Okay. Uh, content relates to the use of Ike alcohol. Okay, so you can't talk about getting drunk. Uh, Medency of what, what is what the fuck is Medency? What is this even? What is this word? The condition of being a beggar. <laughs> Oh, no. So you can't beg for free shit in the game. I guess I'm out. Wow. Um, men in see in any form. Oh, my God, dude. Uh, holy shit. Um, so this is like the same usual bullshit you always see, right? Okay, let's see. What's the game's style? Okay, who cares? What's the business model for Corpunk? The business model will be announced soon. We are fundamentally against a the pay-to-win model. Okay, so here's what the problem with that is. Let's talk about what the problem with what they're saying that is. Number one, everybody's against pay-to-win. Wow, what a surprise. That's like saying, I don't like children to get cancer. Oh, wow! He said the thing! You know, everybody should get along. We should just accept each other for who we are. Oh, yes! Yes! He's such a good guy. He's so understanding. Give me a fucking break, dude. Like, you're fundamentally against the pay-to-win model? Well, how do you fucking have a pay-to-win model if you're getting gear in the game, but you're able to buy cosmetics? You have a profit incentive that's directly contradictory with the reward structure of the game. How the fuck are those two things supposed to fit together? I don't know. Probably they won't. That's what happens. Cosmetics are not pay to win, dude. They are whenever they're 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 the reward structure of the game. Uh, they absolutely are if they are the reward structure of the game, which it seems like it is, right? How do cosmetics help you win? Because cosmetics, the the visual rewards that the player receives for completing challenges in the game correlate to the effort that they're able to put into the game and the success that they have. So if you make cosmetics as the reward structure in the game through getting cool looking armor that does interesting things that you're supposed to show off in cities, and then you have cosmetics that do the same thing, it devalues the in-game accomplishments of people that are actually trying to play the game. That's why it's bad. Uh, do develop core punk. What are the controls using core punk? Okay, mouse, all abilities, use keyboard, standard roles of a tank here in DPS, standard archetypes. Okay, that's good. They're not trying to reinvent the wheel. I always consider that a good thing, okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's bad, but it's not pay to win. Uh, yeah, I know that. Uh, okay, is, is it cost money to play? How can I join the closed beta? How will participants be chosen based on slowly various followers? Uh, factors, one of which is your forum activity. The full list of factors will appear later. Oh, so you've got to go on the forums. Okay, that's great. Uh, that's great. Um, so let's see, PvE are planned in the game. Uh, four-man raids. That's kind of cool, I guess. So... Technical info on what platform is it available? It's on PC. Uh, what engine does it run on? Unity engine. How do I contact customer support? Game servers, where are they going to be? Okay, that's fine. So, thoughts on the game, gentlemen? What do you think? Good game or not? Unity? I don't know what Unity is. I have no idea. Um, yeah, what is it? Looks cheap. I'm going to be honest. Like, this just looks like it looks like an isometric uh, Wildstar. Like the, the the way this looks, it just looks like an isometric Wildstar. That's th that that's pretty much it. Uh, I mean, look at the movement. I uh, hate the movement. I mean, the movement is pretty slow. Uh, I'll definitely say that. Like the only cool thing about this is a little bit of the uh, 
Uh, the Rays, I think, are kind of interesting. Looks like your typical mobile game. I, I mean, the thing is with a lot of these games is that they could have a good and reward uh, a rewarding uh, gameplay structure, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be good, right? Um, it's exactly like old League of Yeah. Every, it's basically like League of Legends. That was the first thing that I thought of, too. That uh, reminded me a lot of it. Uh, MMO with Fortnite graphics, League of Diablo craft. Uh, that's basically what it is. Yeah, sure. How can we make people stop min-maxing and have Classic actually be fun? Simple. Stop worrying about the way other people are playing the game and have fun. It's simple. Yeah, you just you stop worrying about the way other people have fun, and uh, uh, it's solved. What is this here? I just announced a new MMO this morning. Are you kidding me? It's an early Christmas present. Thank you, Santa. Maybe I should complain about MMOs more often, and then more of them will just get announced. I, I, is that how it works? Is that how game development works? Yeah, so, yeah you just complain about it. Announced this morning, a brand new top-down action MMORPG. It, it's really, there's some really, really cool things going on here. I'm pretty excited about this. All right, so let's Why? check out this trailer, first of all. Rating pending. Let's be honest, it'll be mature. Okay. <laughs> Greetings, adventurer. We're gonna and go ahead and just skip through this. This video is really bothering me. But let's take a look yeah, at the combat same. again. Kill monsters to earn gold. Okay. Spread them with your best move. All right, I'll just I'm gonna I'm gonna go right to the end and just hear his slots. To be honest, now the trailer's a little weird. I really don't know about the narration. No offense to the voice actor. I think it's just it's a little bit too excited. Like it is. I mean, it's like she's explaining going to, like, a fucking, uh, like, a cruise resort to Cancun where you get to go gambling on the ship. And she's talking about this game. You know what I mean? The dialogue that you were given. Spread them with your best move. And the music choice was a little awkward. We will come again. Yeah, it's like, just remind me of, like, fucking League of Legends trailer. But who really cares? None of that stuff really matters. No. What I'm seeing here for like gameplay and systems looks really promising. Like this looks really, really interesting. The movement speed might be a tad slow, but that yeah. could also be a good thing because boy, oh boy, a lot of action RPGs just basically sprinting from one group of 30 plus enemies to another and then AOEing them all down. So a yeah. more methodical That's very combat true. color me intrigued, basically. Overall, initial impressions are pretty darn positive. The team behind this game is a new a fairly new team they're called okay. artificial core apparently they've been building this uh team over the course of five years i don't know if that means they've been working on core punk for five years from how that trailer looks they've been doing it for probably close to that amount of time like it's looking pretty polished and put together at this point and they did also mention that they're going to be looking to do beta in quarter quarter four of 2020 what a pleasant surprise wait to wake up to a brand new mmorpg that almost looks like it's practically done <laughs> fucking christmas i don't need any christmas presents this year i got a new sweet game to get excited for all right a new mmo a year. what is happening in a year i don't know man I, I, color me color me skeptical like i i see this and i just i'm skeptical that's really all there is to it i'm just straight up fucking skeptical uh i don't ever expect to see a uh a good game until you know it actually comes out and i look and i see what it's actually like